Hey guys, so I'm in Melbourne with Louisa. Yell out. Hey. Hey. <laughs> we got a flight in this morning and I'm not very good on planes so I didn't want to vlog until we were kind of settled in. But we're in our hotel now. It's very basic. No need for a tour because you can see all of it right behind me. Um, we're about here. In Melbourne you can't see much but yeah so we came to Melbourne to go see a, a band play and we're gonna go see them play tonight and we're here for the next sort of two nights into three days and we fly home on Tuesday so I'll keep you guys posted on everything that we're doing nice I've brought Louisa to the happiest place on earth if you guys watched my Melbourne vlog last time I was here for the tour I'll link it down below we came in here the stock of Minotaur and it's just pop culture, everything, music, everything. There's like so much music stuff right here. Beatles, Bowie, everything. And then this is all Beatles and Kiss and Bowie. And then you've got like Game of Thrones. It's crazy. It's like everything pop culture. If you come to Melbourne, you have to come here because it's amazing. Matt, this is for you. This is literally all Doctor Who. Ceiling to floor. Oh, Doctor Who. This is for you, Matt. I'm not buying you anything, but... <laughs> there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Honestly, the happiest place on earth. I love Minotaur so much. We need to find some food. Can we go to the, the typo over the road real quick? So I can get a took bay. Sweet! I'm gonna go into work, but in a different store, and they don't know who I am. <laughs> Just grabbing some Subway for lunch. I got pizza. What'd you get? Teriyaki something? That looks good on camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to eat. Yes. They're playing the 1975 and I'm not okay. I wasn't expecting it. Guys, there's so many horses and carts. And they're all the way here and then they come all the way up here. So many. Hi guys. So we got back from our little like walk around the city a little while ago and we were so, so tired just from our early flight this morning and everything. So we had a nap and it was so nice and we really want to keep napping. Louise is just having a shower now before we duck out to get some dinner and go to the concert tonight. We're going to see Closure in Moscow, who is Louise's favorite band and one of my favorite bands. And this is like our last chance to see them before they cut a new album type thing. So we flew all the way here to, to see them because we love them. And it's like a little adventure for us because Louisa and I have never like traveled together before so it's going to be fun. I'm currently tucked up in my bed and all my stuff is down there. We've already like completely messed up the room like so bad. And I'm just watching the news. Um, so I'm going to finish watching the news and then I'll probably put some makeup on and we'll probably go and get some food from somewhere. I don't know if we want to do like restaurant because we had Subway today as you guys saw in the vlog but like Subway really fills me up because I didn't eat breakfast before we flew this morning because I'm a really nervous flyer. I couldn't, I didn't have an appetite and I couldn't eat anything. Um, I'm like extra full so I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe find like a McDonald's or something just get like some fries. I don't know. There's a pizza place downstairs. Now we'll get a couple slices of pizza. But yeah, I'm going to finish watching the news and wait for Louise to get out of the shower. And I don't know what I'll show you next, but cue it now. So I know that I didn't do very well vlogging any of that, but that show was so off chops and I'm kind of, I can't just sit there and like film everything. Like I have to be like a part of it, but that was amazing. What are they called? Myth, that first band, but it's like spelt weird. They were sick. 
So if I can find out how to spell it, I'll leave all the band's links down below. They were amazing. Glass Ocean were really, really good live, and Closure and Moscow were phenomenal live. And then we were like, oh, okay, we'll stay around, because we've met Closure and Moscow a couple times, and we figured, like, we'd say hi to them, because we flew, to, like, all the way down or whatever. And we saw them for a little bit, and then we kind of, like, befriended Glass Ocean, and now it's, what, almost two in the morning? Yeah. It's almost two in the morning, and we just got back to the hotel. So... It was a good night. My makeup's everywhere, I need to take it off, and me and Louisa are going to watch TV and fall asleep. Tomorrow is another fun-filled day, so we're going to try and figure out what to do. The Closure in Moscow guys told us to do a couple things, and Glass Ocean leaving in the morning, but I'm going to be like, don't go, so that we can still hang out. <laughs> so we don't know anyone down here. But, um, yeah. The reason of the trip has now happened, and it was totally worth it. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody! It is now Melbourne day two. We kind of slept in a little bit and we really didn't want to get out of bed because we slept with the aircon on all night and it was really cold when we got up and it's a bit rainy today. As you can see it's a bit cloudy so we're gonna go out and get some breakfast now though um, and I think we're just gonna walk around maybe shop a bit again today have a, another look around the city parts we didn't go to yesterday or something. I don't know I'm sure we'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, I'm still pretty tired, but breakfast is definitely a go. salted caramel and this is chocolate hazelnut so it's like Nutella and they're so me look how mini they are like compared to my hand they're like baby size cupcakes and yeah so we've just been shopping around I'm determined to find this restaurant I went to last time but they did deep fried pizza balls and if I can find it you best believe I'm getting some pizza balls but yeah it's um, we're getting real tired so the walk back's not gonna be fun we may as well just get out hey guys um so we're back at the hotel now we went for a walk today it was a long walk. We we're both very, very sore. My feet hurt. But we're back here now and I'm about to sort out all of my stuff to try and make my bags as light as humanly possible. <laughs> I'm tempted to like delete things off my laptop in case data weighs something. Like, I sh like we should be alright. But I'm just like, I don't want to pay extra for, for having extra weight in my luggage. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to kind of throw out anything that I don't need. Um, and kind of compact everything to make it lighter. But yeah, that's where we're at now. We just got some snacks and we're gonna get pizza for dinner. And then I think we're gonna go see the fireworks tonight. We, we need to like Google it and figure out how to get there and like the possibility of that happening and everything. But yeah, there's some fireworks because it's Moomba Festival currently, which I've probably said a million times in this vlog already. But yeah, that's where we're at just now, just watching a bit of TV and 
I don't want to have a nap, but like the bed is looking very inviting <laughs> right about now, so might have a snooze before you go. But I'm so excited for pizza. Oh my god, I'm excited for pizza. Guys, we bought the face masks from Sephora today, and Louisa looks creepy AF. <laughs> 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 oh have you never done a sheet mask before? <laughs> it's so creepy. You look like Jason from. Yeah, I was gonna say. Was he from Friday the 13th? Or the guy from Texas Chainsaw Massacre? It's so cold! <laughs> Creepy AF. So we just got back to the hotel. We went to Moomba Festival tonight and that's what all the fireworks and the rides and stuff were. I didn't vlog very much. Um, just trying to enjoy it. I'm like super tired. But we have a pizza that we're sharing. We're watching Mystery Diners which apparently is like our new favourite show. I didn't even know it existed and we watched an episode this morning and now we're like obsessed with it. It's so good. Um, there's a speck on my lens, so hopefully that hasn't been there the entire time. If it has, I apologize. Flying home tomorrow, and I'm gonna end this vlog here so that I can eat and go to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Good morning, everybody! We are awake. It is our last day. Uh, not. I guess we get it pretty much a day. We don't fly out until like 4 pm Melbourne time, so. We pretty much get a day, I think. Are we going out to see like the beach and stuff today? Yeah, so we're gonna go head out, I think, around like St Kilda area and stuff and check that out. So with one of our friends and then um, we're gonna get to the airport and stuff. So it should be a decent last day. It is beautiful out, which makes me very happy about getting on a plane. Um, but yeah, I've just had a shower and we're gonna pack up our bags and check out of the room. And I don't wanna leave because it feels very, very cold outside. <laughs> It's been so cold this whole trip and I'm not ready for it. But apparently it's like 32 or something where we live, so sick. I'm gonna like get off the plane in like a uh, hat and scarves and like four jackets and jeans and then I'm gonna just be in a fucking my underwear and thongs. I don't know when I get off. So yeah, it's cold. <laughs> so creepy, like why, why is it an attraction? I don't... <laughs> walking and trying to find our way around this damn airport we finally are ready to go our gate is delayed though I'm not sure if the actual flight's delayed or if it's just the gate that's delayed but that's all right so about an hour's wait Louise is just gonna get some food and we're just gonna hang out until we have to get on the flight so oh, hopefully there's nothing like wrong or anything and we can just get on and go and I'm very very tired I don't know if you can tell I'm home I made it home and I've had a shower, and I have a boyfriend right here, a brother over there, my parents are going to be home soon. Oh, it is so damn good to be home. Melbourne was so much fun, I had such a great time, but I'm so ready to just get in my own bed. I'm in my pyjamas, and I'm so ready for it. So, that is the end of the big Melbourne vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, because that helped me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!